one of the more famous haunted cursed dolls is Robert the Doll. <laughs> Old Robert's a Ken doll from hell. Oh, uh, maybe. The doll is said to have plagued people for over... Plagued people? I hope not. <laughs> Is that what you said? I definitely said plagued. I am so sorry. I heard pegged. Uh, it's where my mind is now after that little intro. <laughs> plagued people for over a hundred years, which is a century. That sure is. <laughs> Causing misfortune or even death to some. Yeah, caught. <laughs> sorry. That's such a wonderful noise. <laughs> I got caught. And then, and then it came you over went, the mic. You went, yeah, I caught. <laughs> Uh, sorry i didn't mean to do that oh it's okay i appreciated it <laughs> robert's good. robert's story is an odd one from his obsession beginning to his ultimate final resting place <laughs> where he... i'm taking a drink and all i heard was gulp gulp <laughs> you, better move the fucking mic. you didn't move it you fucking tackled it <laughs> <laughs> so oh shit <laughs> panic you don't usually drink while we're recording that's why well, oh. I, I usually come off to the side because I, I try not to I do but you can never usually hear it or see it now I got this big cup that I needed water from yeah and I'm like gulp 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 oh my god okay well Robert's story is an odd one. I'm going to take it right back. From his odd obsession beginnings to his ultimate final resting place, place where his odd image haunts people who look upon him. Oh. But where did this spooky bitch come from, you ask? Your sister's fucking closet. What? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to build a pyramid, paint some paintings, and start a revolution. Get ready for Lennon's History Corner. It's Lennon's History Corner. Yeah, baby. One story of Robert. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we got. Over a century, one fucking story. <laughs> this guy was ter- terrorizing people forever. Oh, fuck. He just sang the same old song. Hello, my darling. Hello, my darling. Hello, my right down girl. <laughs> Our story of Robert starts in the early 1900s with a boy named Eugene Robert Otto. Fucking Eugene again. <laughs> Eugene the Sasquatch baby. Yeah, that's right. Sasquatch abductions. Episode something. Otto was given. Right. <laughs> you spooky bitch. <laughs> you spooky bitch. Oh, Otto was given a handmade doll. Handmade doll. Yes. As a birthday gift from his grandfather. He got it for him when he was over in Germany. Thanks, Gramps. <laughs> Thanks, Gramps. That's Otto what I said, yeah. I know, I know. I don't name the doll Robert and became very attached to the inanimate object. Who the fuck names the doll Robert? Well, it was his middle name. Okay, well, then that's acceptable. Yeah. Um, now, this isn't out of the ordinary for a child to be attached to a toy or a doll. Exactly, no. But his obsession with the doll that quickly developed into an unhealthy one as the years grew on. And that became out of the ordinary. <laughs> yeah, what kind of, uh, what do we got going on here? Tell well, us. I'll get there in a few I'll get there in a few, but the early on, but early on, the doll began to show signs of something paranormal. Yeah, it's like stop fucking touching my genital area. <laughs> it's just flat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's nothing there. One night, when Otto was ten years old, he woke up to see Robert the doll sitting at the foot of his bed, staring at him. Spooky bitch. It's that spooky. Have you ever seen that clip? You know the clip I'm referencing. I don't think so. I'm just referencing what you reference, so that uh, we both reference it. Then his mother woke up to screams coming from Otto's room. Mm. Back off, you spooky bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my outro. I don't want that. Now, <clears throat> so, Robert woke up. Nope. He Otto, said nope. <laughs> Otto woke up with the doll staring at, sitting at the foot of his bed staring at him. And then, shortly after this... His mom woke up to screams coming from his room. <laughs> yeah, with screams coming from his room. She raced to the door of his bedroom, hearing his screams and furniture being thrown around his room. Yeah. She banged on the door. She pulled on the door. Nothing could budge it. It was stuck shut. Jesus. The screams continued. When the noise finally ceased, she was finally able to open the door to find Otto curled up in terror on his bed and Robert still sitting 
at the foot of his bed staring at him. Now, the room was trashed, furniture had been overturned, and thrown in disarray all across the room. That just sounds like me playing a video game. I yeah, play. I was going to say, well, video game, you're playing there, buddy. <laughs> that wasn't a story. <laughs> Robert. Pick <laughs> <laughs> up. That made it in. Hey, while well, we have this pause for a second, I sure. forgot to mention, listen uh, to the end of the video. Uh, well, we're recording way ahead, so we don't actually have a winner announced to announce, but oh, yeah. it'll be in the actual graphic of the video uh, for the YouTube winner. For the $50 gift card. <laughs> you spooky bitch. Back off, you spooky bitch. And this message is brought to you by, uh, you know, just fucking subscribe on YouTube. Thank you. It's brought to you by Vlasic Dill Pickles. <laughs> oh, where do you stick those? In your anus. Mm. I was just trying to get you. Put to- them in my nose. <laughs> oh, so stop it from leaking. <laughs> <laughs> That got me. <laughs> Back on to you, baby. Uh, so, yeah, Robert did it. He sure did. These were the only words that Otto could say. The same line, Robert did it, would be heard uttered by him throughout the rest of his childhood to explain the weird and terrifyingly destructive events that would take place around the doll. You sure it wasn't just this kid fucking with stuff and saying, blaming the doll? It might have been, because Otto seems like a strange fella. Uh, he <laughs> seems like a strange fella. Mm. You just said that. I had nothing. I just it's okay. I, we do that to each other. Yeah, we do. Otto's unhealthy relationship with the doll began to grow. He would bring the doll everywhere and anywhere he went. He would speak to the doll and have conversations with it. Conversations which could be overheard by those around having two distinctly different voices oh. present. Hey, Robert, should I kill Mama? No! Yeah, get on it. <laughs> <laughs> but we love Mama. I don't care. <laughs> Right. How should I do it? Poison or a knife? Peanut butter. <laughs> Between the butt cheeks. <laughs> you got that peanut butter allergy. <laughs> oh. I definitely stepped in on your joke. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. I liked it. I didn't know if you would, so I was gonna. I was prepared. I came prepared. Hey, said. listen. Yo, that's me. As Scar from Lion King said. Be prepared. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> he did? Yeah, it's a musical. <laughs> it's, a it's, musical. A, it's a musical number. <laughs> He's rising up and it's, it, you know what? I like Lion King one and a half better than Lion King. Well, you're a fucking psychopath and that's why. So please get back no, to Robert the Dolly Doll. Her. No, no, no. Yeah. It's totally no, 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 Back to you. All right. In some instances... Witnesses, other than Otto, claimed to have seen the doll's expression change and mm. even heard him speak. Fuck that. He is also witnessed on multiple occasions running up and down the stairs and halls on his own and has often was often seen perched in the window of Otto's bedroom staring out at people. I would say that'd be scary to see a doll move on its own. Yeah. Real scary. Really scary. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Otto began referring to the doll in the first person as if it was a real thing and not an inanimate object. Normal child things until this type of behavior continued into adulthood. Yeah, he was 32, still having Robert on the job. <laughs> now, what does Robert look like? <laughs> Robert, nowadays, yes. has a worn face from years of care and attention to it. Mm-hmm. His nose is worn down, his smirk fading away, and covered in little tear marks from years of use and play and care and... Normal doll things. He Ev- wa- evidence shows that Le- John Lennon was shot by two different bullets. Sorry. Really? That's interesting. Well, that doesn't make it to the episode. Just want to go. We're going to do a conspiracy update at the end here. <laughs> he, uh, Robert wears a sailor's outfit, which it is agreed w- was That's probably not his original attire, but more so one of Otto's old outfits that he wore as a child. How big is Robert the doll? It's pretty big. Really? Good He's a good-sized doll. Look up Robert the That's doll. That's a fucking a creepy creepy looking doll. All Did right? you look it up? I'm looking at Supposedly, it. Supposedly, you can get cursed even just looking at pictures of it. Oh, thank you for letting me look it up. I <laughs> <laughs> got him. Oh, it's a one last practical joke for you. Yeah. He's going to be visiting me tonight at my <laughs> fucking apartment. How we doing? Hold on. I got to close one eye to see this. He's got focus. Yeah, God, with no face. It's scary. That was a good accent. Thank you. Back off, you spooky bitch. <laughs> the PGA Tour? Robert also has a toy of his own. 
Yeah, sitting on fucking... his sitting on his lap is a stuffed dog that shows signs of age as well. Its eyes are popping out, and it has a big dog tongue that hangs out of its mouth. Incredible. I thought it was from distance. It was good. It added effect. Yeah. God, yep. this is a spooky bitch. I'm not right? gonna lie. It's pretty good size too. I can't see the size of them. So supposedly, but... um, the people who spoilers ahead, the people yeah, yeah. who uh, run the museum that uh, the Otto that Robert's at, yeah. um, they did some looking into it, or somebody did some looking into it, and it, he they think that he was part. Robert was part of a set, a doll set in um, a store in Germany where they tracked the manufacturing to. It's a handmade doll. So your story comes from Germany as well. Yeah. Oh, this is weird that we have two stories coming from Germany. Yeah, for a reason. Yeah, and they're both about objects. Great. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who the fuck is this half-naked motherfucker in a sailor outfit? God damn it. I don't want Robert the doll <laughs> what the fuck? stripper. Jesus Christ. 